What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today, I got an awesome new product. Uh, this actually came from Chemical Guys. So, we got this Torque 15 dual action polisher right here. Uh, the Macon is actually getting a clear bra coming up like very soon. Now, the guys there say that they're going to uh, basically paint correct the car. However, I just did a very long road trip, which is exactly when you do not want to do clear bra on your car, right? But uh, in doing that long road trip, I actually got about 4,000 miles worth of bugs on the car. And if you could see there, let's see if we can dial this in. You could see there uh, these little imperfections in the paint now. Those are like bug spots. I know it's kind of hard to see sometimes, guys, but uh, hopefully you can kind of see that. So what I'm going to do is use this. And we got a couple other things also. This is their new kind of kit that they have with all the goodies here, which is super nice. Uh, I actually love this bag. This is something that you can kind of keep in the back of your car. Let's see what it has in it. Okay, this is sick. So we got the V36 optical grade cutting polish. So there's our cutting polish. Looks like we're probably gonna have three polishes. We got the uh, final polish, the V38. And we have the V34 optical grade hybrid compound. So uh, very nice. We have a polishing pad, came with a finishing pad, uh, wax sealant black. Uh, this one is a light to medium polishing pad right there. Then we have these ones. I really like the Hex Logic pads. They are very nice. Uh, and then we got the medium to heavy cutting pad in the orange. So we'll probably either start out with the orange or the white. Honestly, might even start out with the orange. Ooh, look, they gave me a little note. So I'll read that in a second here. Uh, wow, this is cool. Edge conditioning brush, pad cleaner brush. Oh, okay. This is for actually cleaning off the pad of the polisher, which is something that I always lack on. Actually, we got the optical grid extreme compound V32. Dude, this is sick. Polishing pad cleaner, that is huge. Something uh, that I think a lot of people forget is to, you know, clean up the pads before they go bad. And yeah, that looks like everything that is in here. Let me check out this note from Chemical Guys. The bag is super cool. I, I really like that setup. It's really nice. It says, Blake, uh, we're excited to have you as part of the Chemical Guys family. Very nice. Thank you guys. I've been using Chemical Guys products for a long time and uh, they basically hit me up and said, hey, would you like to try out this polisher? So yes, I actually do. I purchased another polisher not too long ago, actually right when I bought this car to do a full paint correction, but I never actually did the hood or anything like that. Um, and the other one I have is the, the Rupes uh, Mark III Bigfoot 15. So that's, you know, it's a 400 some odd dollar polisher where this is right around your $250 polisher mark. But we're gonna see how this thing does. Now, polishing before what I ever used was actually just like a Harbor Freight polisher. So I'm sure this thing will be a lot better than that. But those are kind of the polishers that I've used. I've also used the Bigfoot uh, 20. Okay, polisher itself comes wrapped up. got a nice soft backing plate on it. This is cool too, it's got little uh, grooves on it. That'll probably help you kind of see if the pad itself is moving, right? If you apply too much pressure uh, with the dual action sander, or dual action polisher, I should say, uh, sometimes you can notice that the pad will stop and you don't want that to happen. Has the handle for right-handed or left-handed applications. I usually put it in on this side as I'm right-handed. Let me dexterous on that if you would like to do that. Cord is fairly short, probably, I'm gonna say 10 feet, let's see. And I just say it's lacking as compared to the Rupes polishers. Those things have a 30 foot cord um, just right off the bat, which is kind of cool, uh, just because you can actually literally plug it into the wall, and get away with it. So this looks like about a 10 foot extension cord on here, which is totally fine, uh, but you know, just something to keep in mind, you're gonna have to run an extension cord when doing your car. Something that's really cool that comes with it is an extra set of brushes. So that just means this thing is gonna last even longer. If you start noticing the motor like cutting out, spazzing out, that sort of thing, uh, maybe your brushes have gone bad and you can install new brushes, which is 
very cool that they, uh, that they give you those. That is very nice, very nice. Now, we've got the Allen wrench, so we'll go ahead and install this little guy. It looks like the Allen wrench for the pad, too, is the same as well, so that's very nice. You know, they kind of thought that through and made that happen. We'll install the little handle just because, I don't know, it's nice to have a little handle. As far as the finishes go, uh, of the plastics, like it is a bit, it's not like the smoothest thing. Whereas if you get a Rupes polisher or something like that, you're gonna have this smoother edges, this kind of this plastic right here. It's a little, uh, I don't know, it's a little sharp right there, so I can just kind of cut that off. Not a big deal, but you know, it's just something that you'll notice in the quality difference. Um, what's cool too, though, this does have a digital speed gauge and on and off switch. So I'm gonna plug this thing in, we'll throw a pad on it, First, I need to clay the hood real quick, so I'll do that, and I'll get back to you guys. So I just finished up with some clay luber. This is actually Chemical Guys clay luber and a little bit of clay, and uh, cleaned the whole car up. You wanna put a nice coat of clay luber on the car and go in one direction, back and forth, basically until you uh, quit hearing any drag. So uh, that worked out pretty well. And then, you know, once you're done with all that, which I am, you just kind of go ahead and uh, wipe off any of that excess clay luber and you're good to go. So now we're on to the polishing step basically. I think I want to start out with this V34 uh, stuff right here. Uh, this does look to be the most aggressive but it also says that it's a hybrid grade or a hybrid compound. So basically you go with this and then you should be ready to just hit the final uh, polishing step after that. So this is gonna cut and polish at the same time. Basically have the on button here. There is a digital gauge, which is pretty cool. And it looks like it has six positions as far as speed. So one, it says, uh, what does it say? 1800 RPM, which that's cool to give you a uh, RPM readout. 2800, 3500, 4300, 4800, and 5500 RPM. Then when you hit the kill switch, What's kind of nice is if we turn it back on, it doesn't start going right away. So you can kind of engage your speed and uh, ramp it up as you go, which is kind of a nice reminder to, to actually do so, you know what I mean? So let's get onto this paint and start uh, compounding. I did like 4,000 miles on this road trip. Uh, so we're gonna put this pad on here. Nice Velcro backs. Uh, and then we'll prime the pad right now. All right, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so now I'm gonna prep the actual surface or prime the surface area. So we'll just kind of blot this out. Just gonna do this front little area first. Uh, we'll do two to three passes with this stuff. They say, obviously we'll put it on on low mode. Spread the polish out. All right, now they say uh, to ramp it up to five or six. So half overlapping. Overall, it feels pretty good. Uh, it's fairly smooth. It's got good torque, just like it says. Uh, I didn't really notice the pad stopping at all, so that's really good. Uh, definitely my Rupes is uh, smoother, for sure, uh, in the drive unit and all that stuff. But I mean, that's to be expected. It's almost twice the money, right? But this thing, this thing works really well. Let's show you uh, some of the results over here. And this is just the first step. Fortunately, I got a little bit of deep scratches right here. Let's, I don't know if you guys can see it. See that right there? There's a little bit of deep scratches there. Uh, we'll see what we can do with that. But kind of that side compared to that side. See the split? Basically at the Porsche logo. Uh, you can see that this side is much clearer. I hope. It's kind of always hard to tell on camera, but it is a lot clearer over here than it is over here. Yeah, you can see it in the reflections there. See the haze. All right. so. Uh, I'll continue with this polish on more of the car 
and oh yeah dude it looks it looks so much better right here i actually need to compound it a bit more right here because there are like some deep some deep bug marks i gotta see if i can't get that out that's why i went with this a little bit heavier uh cutting compound right here but yeah let's keep on going i like how it ramps in with the speed slow speed that way we can just spread the product real nicely it really reminds you to kind of do it also which is nice Sometimes you just kind of turn one of these things on and you're already cruising and you kind of forget. It's starting to make a little bit of a polish mess, but it is what it is. Like I said, I'm just trying to get most of this etching out. It's unfortunate that it got so much etching in it, but that's black paint for you guys. So <laughs> if you want a car with black paint, uh, I highly recommend to invest into a good polishing system and you know this would be a fairly affordable polishing system to get into and to start out on I think it's it's really nice especially with coming uh, as that kind of the the kit you can buy this in a kit where it comes with all the polishes and all that stuff which is really cool I'm gonna clean out this pad a little bit It helps get the uh, build up off and it has a good grip. I like that, that's cool. Let's see, kill it. Yeah, it just helps get like that built up uh, polishing material off. Basically everything that you see like snow flaking off, if you will, you see all that kind of that snow over there. This is getting a little bit hot, which is totally normal, but uh, the pad itself is still nice and cool, so that's good. Uh, sometimes uh, lubing this up on the back side of the backing plate is good. It doesn't look like the clearances are too tight though, so it shouldn't have that issue uh, where you do with a Rupes uh, Paul shirt. It has a really tight clearance here. So uh, this thing looks pretty maintenance free, honestly, and it's working great so far. So I finished up the compounding phase. Now we're gonna go over it with some V36. All right, so I went ahead and put the black finishing pad on here. Now I'm gonna use the V36. This is uh, cutting polish. So this stuff should basically give me my last step that I wanna get to for right now, just because the car is going off to a clear bar place. They are gonna prep the paint as well. I just wanted to get it at that like step further, right? Just so like, I don't know, they don't charge me more or something along those lines, but basically so they can spend more time on it and getting very, very optically clear how they feel uh, you know, putting it on there, not just like, oh, it looks way better than it did. Well, I don't want that. I want it to look amazing. So let's do this. I have dots on this thing, get it kind of prepped up. I'm gonna try to work in two by two areas, uh, speed setting five to six. So basically maxed out. Um, I'll we'll start up here again, and you wanna use moderate pressure with this one, it says. So sounds good smells really good the other one didn't really have a great scent chemical guys always has some of the best smelling polish in my opinion or just some of the best smelling products so you can expect that with this okay. it's always fun to clean the car and it smells good too all right so let's ramp this one up
much more optically clear than the other side. So I'll hit the rest of the car and we'll be good to go. But that stuff works absolutely great. Cleaning the pad with this thing is absolutely awesome. So I definitely recommend this pad cleaner. It just helps the, uh, just helps it stay clean. Helps it uh, not like, spray as much crud around. Makes it much easier to clean up. And it seems to do a better job because it really lets the pad itself do what it's supposed to do instead of clogging up the uh, pad material over here. So you can see it still looks nice and prepped and fresh, whereas they kind of get a little gummed up, you know, after a while. This V36 is working absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm really liking it. So good on you guys at Chemical Guys for this stuff. It's great. I'm gonna put five dots on that. Uh, we're gonna hit this fender here. That looks good. Now we can go ahead and wipe this off. Wow, that looks really good. I am digging it. Awesome, guys, this thing is great. Wrapping up the uh, polishing and compounding of the hood here. So this stuff works amazing. I would highly recommend this polisher. It, it works really well. Sure, there are some more higher end ones that are a little bit smoother of an operation, but this thing has absolutely no problems chugging along. It's not like your, you know, run of the mill Harbor Freight one where the pads literally stopping all the time uh, and you have to use like super, super, super light pressure, um, which is, you know, kind of what you want to do. But if you need to add a little bit more moderate or heavy pressure, this thing doesn't bog down uh, too awful much. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty good system here. I really like it. And as far as quality goes, I mean, the quality feels really good. I was looking at my Rupes polisher. Uh, it's it's similar, you know, I don't actually use the handle on that one. I, I totally forgot. I just kind of use it like this. Um, but uh, yeah, even the seams and the Rupes are, you know, kind of the same and all that. So I kind of mentioned that earlier, but the head on this thing feels very nice. Uh, overall, it does get a little bit warm. I think the Rupes polisher, I want to say is brushless, but I'm not 100% sure. So maybe it's a little bit smoother with that action as well. But uh, this torque polisher from Chemical Guys is super, super good. So we'll just finish out this last little section. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to pick one of these up, I'll leave a link down below in the description. This is not a paid advertisement or anything like that. Uh, this is, they sent this to me. So I'm just giving my opinion on this. Yes, I did get this. Uh, for free they did send this out to me with the full kit uh, just to be transparent um, and I can't remember the the bottom links may be affiliate links or they may not be I'm not 100% sure if they had an affiliate program or not but uh, yeah overall I'd highly recommend the system and the little carrying bag is super super cool so if you're like looking to get into a little bit of mobile detailing and you want to get in in a lower end budget uh, this is definitely a great start to get your stuff in order look at the paint it looks absolutely amazing looks so much better honestly thanks a lot for watching guys we will talk to you soon later and wrench down